What's good with y'all, man? Freddie Gibbs, baby mama, says she let an NBA player smash while she was with Gibbs. Plus, will let you hit for $10,000. And speaks on Gibbs getting jumped by Benny. I'm assuming Benny the Butcher. Maybe. I don't know. If you want to hit that like and subscribe button, slap the dog ish about yourself because that's the first thing you should have did when you clicked on this video. Let's check it out. What is one thing that you've never told your ex? I did have an ex that I was involved with and I cheated on him with an athlete. That was so weak of me. And now he's probably going to know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, women are some of the dumbest people ever, bro. And it, it, because they only use their looks, like that's like you know what I'm saying. They only use their body, and like that's all they have. So that's all they know. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Like they don't know no. Like they so stupid, bro. <laughs> she talk about yeah. She she regretting the shit now. You know what I'm saying? He probably gonna find out now. Stupid. Was it well, I mean, that's not why they broke up, though. But, man, that's just crazy, bro. I went from jumping out of three, uh, out of C-130s to jumping on dick. What is a C-130? Is that a car or some shit? C-130. Oh, that's an airplane. Oh, she was in the military or some shit, maybe. So did have an right. ex that I was involved with, and I cheated. A relationship where you weren't just involved with him, you was in a relationship, yeah. On him with an athlete that was so weak of me. So weak of her. And now he's probably going to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's okay. Who had better? The athlete. So you never <laughs> told your ex that you cheated on him? No. I hope he doesn't watch this interview. Right now? That's like that's like telling on yourself for commit a murder and be like, I hope the police don't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you like for ten bands? Someone wanted to would you do it? Yes. But you know oh, she's on the OnlyFans bus. This the OnlyFans like bus or some shit. They 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 you know, have a talent they, test. They doing interviews now? They was doing skits. Now they doing interviews. <laughs> Someone wanted to. Would you do it? Yes, but you need to have a talent test. Mm -hmm. Cause that's the thing. Like men want to come. Bro, who's paying ten thousand dollars for you? I would never. Bro, no bitch is getting ten thousand dollars out of me, bro. I don't give a fuck how rich I am. I take that back. Maybe I will if I'm just a billionaire. But even then, bro, is no. Pussy is not that serious to me, bro. It's not that good to me, bro. <laughs> it's not to be giving a bitch ten thousand. And did she looks like this? I would never. What? But what? What makes her look more crazy? Her appearance or what she's speaking on? <laughs> you feel me, though? Yeah, damn. I would never in life pay ten thousand for this girl, bro. Yes, but who, you bro? Who? If you actually have ten thousand dollars just to give over like that. Why the fuck would you do that to what the what? You need to have a talent test. Mm -hmm. Her of all at that? Cause that's the thing. Like men want to come to you with talking all about a talent test. That's crazy. A bitch don't gotta have no talent. She don't even gotta be able to know how to shake her ass. She's gotta look some type of decent. That's crazy, bro. I wouldn't, bro. I wouldn't fuck with half these bitches out. All this money, but they've never been to the to the doctor. That's where you have to draw the line. Mm -hmm. Like, health is number one for me. Mm -hmm. um, I can't, I don't care what dollar amount you're putting on it. Like, I need to be, I need to have the peace of mind and know that I'm not going to catch anything. Of bro, course. nobody's paying you $10,000, bro. That's yeah. Very important. Right. If, you bro, pay. you're not even getting one nigga to pay you $10,000 a year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chances is, bro, definitely not on a month to month basis. Does size matter? Yes. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I have been with someone who just had a really, really big 
situation going on and it just wasn't it didn't feel good to me what? it wasn't what it was supposed a to big get situation what do you mean by that if mm -hmm. so i think that there's definitely a you can be too big okay, sure. okay you know what i mean yeah. and that's just mm -hmm. not yeah bro you gotta be right in between bro you gotta be in a sweet spot and every female is different bro you know what i'm saying so you don't have to have the biggest dick in the world bro niggas niggas boost their body count up and, and, and boost their dick size up you know what I'm saying? That's what niggas do, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit is not that fucking serious, bro. I, I don't want all the hoes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I admit that shit, bro. No, that shit is not that serious to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have the biggest dick in the world, bro. But you, if your shit is too small, nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you ain't even gonna be able to hit no positions for real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Baba's though, but like, bro. That's not what feels good to me, so. So what, how big is too big? like 10 plus inches okay that's just you're doing too much mm -hmm. you know right what is like your ideal size i love a good like five six incher like just and, and then you gotta think bro like even if you do have a fucking 10 plus inch dick bro your whole dick ain't going in there bro you're not fuck you're not using your whole dick you know what i'm saying she just said she needs a five to six inch that's all these females need, bro. You know what I'm, that's all they need, my nigga. They don't need no they don't need no 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 eight, nine, ten, bro. They don't, bro. If your shit is under a five though, bro, you know what I'm saying? You you, you know what I'm saying? You drawing a line. You know what I'm saying? You draw the line, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely but, a, you can be too big. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just not that's not what feels good to me so so what how big is too big like 10 plus inches okay that's just you're doing too much mm -hmm. you know right what is like your ideal size i love a good like five six incher like mm -hmm. just a little bit like mm -hmm. i love that <laughs> <laughs> okay th me too there's nothing wrong with that yeah, yeah. what if a guy wanted yeah, bro to that's what every female like bro and they don't even know the size of your fucking meat, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he had like a good three inches hard. Three inches hard. Mm -hmm. No, that's tough. I, <laughs> that's very tough, bro. I feel like I would need to ask him what he's going through. <laughs> what? And then she's talking about if you got ten plus, you're doing too much. That's not up to the man, bro. That's not their fault. That his that that a nigga dick is too big or too small, bro. That's not his fault. Talking about so hard three inches hard mm -hmm. i feel like i would need to ask him what he's going through talk about so what he's going what are you going through what like what? we would have to get to the bottom of like get to the bottom of what that's just how big his dick is bro it's, there's nothing that's ever going to be done about it that can be done about it bro. it's three inches hard so how much would a guy have to send you to get his attention to get, to get my attention who wants your attention yeah to get your attention <laughs> Bro, who honestly looks at her and be like, yeah, I want her attention, bro. Even if you're down bad, bro, you would still consider other people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm down bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I got the money to give her, but shit, I'm going to try to still find something else, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, what, what? Who's, 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 who's tripping over her, bro? I'm not. I attention. Yeah. Maybe maybe ten years ago if she looked it better, different or some shit, but bro, no. I ain't Your gonna attention. say ten years ago because she might be fucking twenty six. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doubt it though. Freddie Gibbs is a like a he been around for a minute. He's like an early two thousands rapper type shit. I need at least a band to entertain anything. Okay. And that's that's like the deposit that's like no you don't shut the fuck the up security. you're not getting that <laughs> well, i saw not too long ago that <laughs> not getting that the niggas that be on only fans paying for y'all shit still don't be giving y'all that money that when you were with freddie gibbs you guys got jumped we did we got jumped um that See, was niggas boost they body up and shit like that and females boost up shit like that bro you know what i'm saying like they said they i need at least a thousand no the fuck you don't bitch you ain't getting shit last may mm -hmm. um and i haven't like publicly spoken about this on the record but i will share with you um so we order our food and we're sitting outside so you know what's crazy that i ain't even gonna say the chain on her neck probably fake 
because I don't know if it is or it's not, but these females be out here with wearing fake-ass chains, which, you're a female, you know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily that serious, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it is, though, you know what I'm saying? Because fake jury is fake jury. It don't matter if you boy or girl, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? But it's like a female will wear a fake, a fake diamond chain like that, bro, and then say she won't fuck with a nigga wearing a fake diamond chain like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh God, bro. So not only are we in a public, bro, I be seeing niggas up. I don't even, I don't even like chains like that and shit, bro. I like gold, bro. I don't want. I feel like niggas be playing dress up and doing the most and be attention, like trying to get attention and shit like that, bro. I seen a nigga up at Walmart wearing a fake diamond chain like that, bro. Nigga, I'm not finna wear no real one, cause niggas in Walmart got the fake ones. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like. Cause, Cause if somebody see your shit, they're not even really gonna know if it's real or something like that. Especially if they don't know that you're famous and rich. You know what I'm saying, though? Oh God, niggas Please. are gonna assume the shit is fake if they don't know who you are, bro. You feel me? Like if if it's gold, bro, niggas gonna know it's real gold. I mean, niggas won't know if it's real gold or not for real. You know what I'm saying? But but but, but chances is, bro, your, your gold gonna be real, my nigga. Like niggas gonna know your gold real, bro. Especially if you coming with some shit like this. Like this this shit this shit really real. You know what I'm saying? It's light. This ain't no extra shit where it looked like I spent a lot of money on it and I really didn't. You know what I'm saying, though? Like, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I haven't, like, publicly spoken about this. I don't like chains like that and all them diamonds. And then, and then that's white gold, too. I don't like white gold. I like yellow gold at that. You know what I'm saying? All them big-ass chains. Niggas be playing dress-up and shit like that, bro. And, like, be, 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 be in competition with the next man or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who dressed better? They they be worried about who dressed better to the next man. I just seen uh, Bruce drop him off in DDG arguing. And that nigga Bruce was talking about some... Uh, I'm way more flyer than you, drippier than you. I got a stylist and you don't. And, like, nigga, what? You feel me, though? Like, did these rappers, they with the chains and all that, bro. Y'all niggas playing dress up like some bitches and shit, bro. I'm not with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? On the saying? record, but I will share with you. I don't even like chains, bro. I got two chains, bro. And, and the other one, my other chain, is bigger than this one, bro. I don't like wearing both them bitches. Like, I just got this chain right here. You know what I'm saying? And... And, and I don't like wearing, I don't even like wearing chains, bro. These just gold chains, bro. So I couldn't even, uh, a big ass diamond chain, bro, that's doing the most. I would never want to wear that bitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just so extra and in the way and all type of shit, bro. Uh niggas literally do that shit just for the image and, um, they, niggas claim this for like the, um, I guess it do, like, people do take you more serious as a rapper or some shit when you got that shit. That shit goofy to me, though, bro. You 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 not really that nigga like that if you got to put on a chain for people to take you more serious, though. You know what I'm saying? So That's we order our food, it, and we're sitting outside. So not only are we in a public place, we're sitting outside. Um, and we did have our security with us, but they didn't do shit. And people recognize him, Wait, right? Yeah, people were recognizing him. The What's the story? I will share with you. Um like well, that when you were with freddie gibbs you guys got to entertain anything okay and that's that's like the deposit that's like the security <laughs> <laughs> well i saw not too long ago that when you were with freddie gibbs you guys got jumped we did we got jumped um mm -hmm. that was last may mm -hmm. damn um and i haven't like publicly spoken about this on the record but i will share with you uh, damn so we order our food and we're sitting outside bro that's why bro any female that's with me you got to be ready to you got to be ready for me to to either lose it all you know what i'm saying you got to be ready to to to, to stand your ground if you fucking with me all type of shit bro you know what i'm saying you got to be ready for that shit you know what i'm saying know what you signing up for when you fucking with me though you know what i'm saying because anything can happen out here bro i will share with you uh and, 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 and like I said, be ready, stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. You got to have your own blick. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your own strap. You got to keep you something on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you my shorty, you got to stay ready, bro. So we order our food and we're... Because if something happened to me and you're not finna just be sitting there watching me get get done dirty or what, if, some, if somebody come try to do something to me and they end up trying to uh, successful or i'm wrestling with them or some shit and you just sitting there watching 
Nah, you're not finna just sit there and watch. You finna do, you finna do like that one shorty did for her man that was getting choked out by a white dude. She killed the dude up in Kansas City or I think it was Kansas City or St. Louis or some shit like that. She killed dude when they was wrestling on the ground. You know what I'm saying? She told him to stop, stop, stop. And he never stopped. She shot that nigga. He died and they walked away. No mama kid. Sitting outside. So not only are we in a public place, we're sitting outside. Um and we did have our security with us but they didn't do shit and people recognized him right yeah people were recognizing him the whole time we were walking to the place everybody's like oh freddy freddy i go to the bathroom i come back i literally have brisket hanging out of my mouth and like 20 dudes turn the corner and walk toward us they have bricks in their hands like they're about to throw them at our faces and i'm like i'm like with my brisket oh it's like my stomach fell through my butt because i'm I'm from a place where this doesn't happen. Right. Um, and I kind of like look over at Freddie and Freddie's like, hey man, I got my girl here. Like, we don't got to do this, da 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 da. And they showing no mercy. I'm talking about, they are full fledged. What the hell Freddie like, Gibbs they want did to where niggas are still trying to fuck with him? That nigga been in the game for a long time, bro. He supposed so, to be an OG in this shit. Like, you know what so I'm saying? Oh, I'm sitting i'm standing next to freddie i'm not moving because i'm trying to hold it down and be out the all mix type shit you know what i'm saying like oh, Ellen never again this shit. <laughs> i'm never doing that i mean shit happens though bro it don't matter where where, where you at in life my nigga because if you came from a place bro that place is forever gonna live with you bro no matter if you go become a doctor today and you got ops out here and you a doctor today and you did something to your ops three years ago they still, and they know where your doctor's office, doctor office at. They gonna schedule an appointment and back door your bitch <laughs> You know what I'm saying, though, bro? That don't mean nothing. You, nothing, nigga. You still did what you did just because you a doctor now. Don't mean nothing. That shit again. <laughs> <laughs> and I was paying his phone bill. I'm like, okay. So, and all of a sudden, I just look up and Freddie is backed into a wall. So, he had a brick wall behind him and, like, all these guys are just on top of him trying to take his jewelry, trying to take his chain. Um and they took my chain i had a little chain they snatched my shit right off and I, I i literally remember going oh like i looked at the guy and i was like oh like bitch like come on you didn't have to do me like i'm not in this rap beef i have no idea what's going on i'm pulling guys off yes, of you are that's what i'm saying when you dealing with a man like this bro you you signing up for that something can happen to you you know what i'm saying you're not in this rap beef but you're with this man out in public or whatever with him you're yes you are his beef is your beef you know what i'm saying like, bitch, like that don't mean you go do the most though and then like make his beef worse or some shit you know what i'm saying but come on you didn't have to do me like i'm not in this rap beef i have no idea what's going on i'm pulling guys off of freddie i'm trying to you know crazy craziness um we left or they left they took his watch they got his watch um Damn. and they actually had his rabbit charm at one point but he grabbed it back and his hand, like he was holding on to it so tight that his hands were full of blood like after oh. they left um i will say that about freddie he he definitely like held his shit together the best he could because he had no help our security froze up it was crazy security um, froze up did he end up firing that security I sued the shit out them niggas. yeah no, the sue button, nigga, what? The, your security froze up. <laughs> nigga, what? You supposed to be crash out specialist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. Too, I put a name if you made it to the end of this video. You bored? Check out this video to the left or check out my music to the right. I just dropped some new shit. See, so y'all go run that up. Be on God, G.O.D. I'm mother's children.